anonymous ask, how can we respond as children when our parents confide in us or complain to us about their marital issues? Uh, how do we respond? Uh? Well, um, their marital issues, then it, that means it's about our parents. Uh. Right. How do we respond? Uh? Respond as children. <laughs> we are the children, right? So we respond as children. Uh, sometimes it's not about how we should, how we, how can we respond? Uh? Many times it's about the person who confide in us, how they want us to respond. <laughs> Yeah, how they expect us to respond. Unfortunately, when um, people confide in us, often not, oftentimes they are, they are trying to get garner support. <laughs> yeah, uh, they tell you this, they tell you that, and then they hope that you can sympathize with them, and then you can side with them and then after that you can gang up with them <laughs> to, to do something about the other person so father come and tell you cho, 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 cho. Uh, hope that you will uh, gang up with the father then take on the mother the mother also come and tell you then take on the father <laughs> uh, human things are like that Mm. But is that the best way to respond? Or is that the only way? And that, that is clearly not the only way to respond. But is that the best way? Uh, or another angle is, is that the bad way to respond? <laughs> hmm. Something is a bit tricky. Uh. As the Chinese saying goes, Qing guan nan pan. Uh, or something. Uh. Yeah. Um, because everybody has their point of view, you know? Yeah. Uh, and oftentimes when it comes to when it comes to marital affairs, or oh, no, sorry, issues. <laughs> this one is not marital affairs. <laughs> if it's marital affair, then th th there's not much to discuss. Uh. <laughs> marital issues. When it's marital issues. Many times, we call it marital issues because it happened to be between two persons who is married. But it's just, it's the same as any kind of conflict between two persons. It's either objectively right or wrong or subjectively right or wrong. You know, if it's subjective, then it's a matter of preference. Yeah, it's a matter of preference. You like to do things a certain way, the person don't follow, then you all follow. Yeah. The person prefer like that, then you don't prefer, or you forget, then the other the two person follow. Yeah. The, 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 the few, a, few, a few things, then you permit it, then you have all the different prob problems you have. Uh, objective problem would be in the case of marriage, uh, objective problem would be affairs. Uh, yeah. If it's not objective, it's mostly all about personal preferences. Yeah. Um, and and some, some of it is even um, not an issue, actually. Yeah. You know how sometimes uh, if the person is okay with you, then even if you fuck in their face, that means you put in their face, and they're also okay. If they're not happy with you, then even if you praise them, they, they find it distasteful. <laughs> yeah, so this is very personal. And this is where it becomes very personal. Yeah. So how can we respond? I think the first thing we need to do is listen. Yeah. In a way, listening is a way of responding also. Because it, it shows that person that you are interested in hearing them out. 
Yeah, that's the response. Instead of saying, I am Ma or I am Pa, uh, not, not, not my own case. Huh? <clears throat> Whenever they talk to me, I always listen. Yeah. Uh, but just as an example, like if let's say your father or mother can tell you, just listen. Yeah, don't don't dismiss that. Ah, don't 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 tell me about this. Uh, you're always uh, today quarrel that tomorrow. Uh, don't don't say that. Try la, Try not to say that. Try not to respond in that way first. Just listen first. Sometimes all they want to, to, to do is just vent, you know. <laughs> They may not even be trying to get your support. They just have to vent. Yeah. So when people are venting, then they, they just listen first. Lah. Yeah. Uh, and here I want to, to cite. The, there's, this, uh, there's, this lay person, there's this two lay person, Chen Xi, Chen Xi Ming and Xi Ya Zhong in uh, in our monastery back then. I don't know whether they are still there. Maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. Uh, the two of them uh, are the only two lay person who, is, uh, who stays with us year in, year out. They are retired. Uh, I think the, the, both of them, I think both of them were uh, in the engineering field. Yeah, and they are very supportive of my teacher. And my teacher always say, yeah, he treat them like monks anyway because they are staying in the monastery and they don't have access to any worldly entertainment, pleasure, anything. <laughs> so they are, they are observing every seven day or so. <laughs> so they say, short of you know, ordaining, they, they are living like, uh, like the monks. So one of them, uh, Chen Ximing. Uh, the reason I, I call them Lei Ming Tai Xing is because Taiwanese tend to call people Lei Ming Tai Xing, so I get used to it when I think of them. Uh, so he, he is very interesting. Um, when I was newly out there, when I was, uh, I would sometimes have grouses, you know. Yeah, first I was, there were two novices, and then the other novice is the attendant to my teacher. So everything, all the zaplam, I could not. <laughs> wow, so, oh, sing li min, wu ping ah. Uh, inside the mind, wow, feel very a lot of injustice. So occasionally, sometimes I will vent, you know. Then you know what he will always. I, I didn't notice it until some time. No? I some, one day I noticed that whenever I whenever I talk to him, you know what is his response? He he will be mopping the floor. And then he expects you wear the specs. Uh, then he will. Oh, so that's it. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, he also don't don't uh, affirm what you said. He also don't oppose what you said. He just but after and he, he don't he don't just do his work and ignore you. He don't he don't don't respond also. He respond. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, he, he let you talk. He, he, oh, so just <laughs> and the best, yeah. As I said, the best thing is for for a few months. I when like initially I just talk, and then I never noticed that he is just responding in this way. <laughs> Until I think my my mind is clear, <laughs> then I realize he is not responding. He's just saying, "Oh, so just." <laughs> Uh, then another another response that I, I received was uh, from another venerable. He is the he's my peer. He is the other novice monk. So I also sometimes papa also. Then one day he he look at me. I, I don't know what I said. I can't remember what I said. But one day he looked at me. Then he said, "Why are you telling me this?" <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's a it's a very simple statement, right? It's not a it's not a uh what you call it antagonistic question, but it's it simply get you to think like what is your intent? You know, uh, of course, I, I think it was timely also because at that point in time, then I realized, oh yeah, maybe my intent is not so not so good also. 
And what am I trying to do by telling people my grouses? You know? Yeah. But you must use the second response sparingly. <laughs> Otherwise, later your mother or your father don't talk to you. <laughs> I imagine they go and kind of meh with you, right? Just normal ranting. Why are you telling me this? Are you trying to get me to not be happy with mama? <laughs> I tell that that's it. No, no, then you you your father don't talk to you for, for one month. <laughs> but in a way, this applies to every other relations we have, even in the office. You know, yeah. Your your good colleague, your nice colleague will kind of tell you, I uh, I I feel sorry for you. Huh? But, but you know, uh, actually this time round, uh, this time round by right, you should get promoted. <laughs> it's kind of good colleague, you better be careful. <laughs> if you should be, yeah, actually, uh, should be promoted. Should, don't, don't tell me about should, tell me about what will happen. <laughs> this kind of good colleague, very scary. Can tell you what should have happened. Yeah, I, uh, so, um, we should listen to what our parents have to say first. us. Yeah. Uh, if you even want to, maybe, if we even dare to uh, step in and consider whether who is right, who is wrong, you must be ready to listen to hours of their stories first. Yeah. And be ready to, to have both of them be angry with you. <laughs> <laughs> because unfortunately, unfortunately, um, maybe I'm wrong, huh? but anytime anyone get into a relationship, they are biased. Yeah. Think about it. If you're not biased, why do you want to marry this person and not the rest of the people? You're biased already. Huh? Relationships, I said relationships as an amorous relationship, huh? leading all the way up to marriages are all biased, based on biasness. Yeah, based on favoritism, based on unfairness. Yeah, because it, which marriage is totally fair. <laughs> and yet, people in marriages want things to be fair. One, one, the other party to be fair. But they don't expect the other party to be fair. Why? How many times have we heard boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife say this to the other person? Hey! You're my husband, leh. you're my wife, leh. you're my boyfriend, leh. you're my girlfriend. Leh. Why are you not siding me? Why are you siding that girl? Why are you siding that man? How many times do we hear this? This is like expecting the other person not to be fair. You know, and if we expect that person not to be fair for one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years, for so long, then suddenly that person is not fair to us. Then we say, why, why are you like that? <laughs> you have been sowing the seeds of unfairness. <laughs> so anytime you hear couples quarrel, it's never about actual fairness or right. I mean, more often than not. Lah, because the relationship is built on unfairness. Yeah, very difficult, yeah. So, if I saw that, so no, no words. Yeah, so what to do? Yeah, so many times it's about getting them to feel happy about each other. Once they're happy with each other, then whatever stupid things they do, okay one. Yeah, because most marriages are built on that. Most relationships are built on that. Long time ago, my sister told me this. If you, uh, uh, what did she tell me? Uh? Because I was in, uh, I had different girlfriends at different point in time. <laughs> and then, but I'm very clear about, like even with uh, my girlfriend, if it's wrong, I will scold them. <laughs> I will tell them off. 
yeah. And I I I I tell them often like, darling, don't like that. I what if my what if my you didn't know? Clearly, you know. Well, you know, I will I I will speak to them like that. You know. So my sister, one day my sister after one phone call I put down, then my sister told me, oh yeah. I don't know. I can't remember at that point. At a certain point in time, my sister started calling me. I think still call me boy, right? Even when I was in my mid late twenties already. So he should say, boy, ah, say kind of gong, oh. But then I can't look, oh, she won't have a pen, you eh? Yeah, I think she probably spoke to me in English, lah. Like because sometimes when we are talking more serious things in our family, ah, normal conversation, Hokkien. Yeah, when we want to quarrel or talk about serious things, then we speak English. <laughs> Follow Singapore, ma, official business language. <laughs> so she probably say like, if you if you if you um, try if you continue this way, ah, you'll not find a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, there's no one who is perfect, no. Yeah, you you everything you expect everything to be exactly like this like that. No end, uh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why in the end, <laughs> forget it. Cannot find one. <laughs> no, no. Actually, that was not the impetus. The impetus was the inspiration from my teacher. The enlightenment is possible. Yeah, and also that I'm. I know myself. I'm too lazy. Go down this path. I mean, go down the the worldly path. Confirm cannot progress one. <laughs> <laughs> Go down monastic path, got a slim chance to progress. Yeah, not that. Wow, well, I have a great chance to progress. Not slim chance, so I just grab onto a slim chance. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why do I highlight the way I treat my relationships? Is because most people are not like that. Yeah. So my mom sometimes see me on the phone, then she'll she'll tell me, you know, in my twenties, she said. I get pin trouble again, nah. Then I'm like, what? 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 Pin lang yeh? Like, what? What? Is that lao? Jiao me? No, I don't. My mom said, uh, don't, don't, basically, don't sweet talk girls. Yeah, yeah. In in, in literally, what she said is, don't, don't pin, don't lie to, uh, small girls, little girls. But in Hokkien, the connotation means to sweet talk them. Sweet talk, sweet talking is all lies, ma. Right? Girls like to hear it, ma. Wow, today you're so beautiful. Only today, man. <laughs> Am I the the most beautiful? Yes. Sure not. Are you you sure you are the most beautiful? <laughs> how how did it happen that you are the most beautiful? <laughs> You mean the whole world there's nobody else more beautiful? <laughs> Impossible, right? But girls like to hear this. Yeah. Did you miss me? Yes. How much? All the time. Sure not. Yeah, all the time. So I never, I never ever say this in my whole life. All I say is, yeah, I miss you. How much? A bit. <laughs> Once in a while. Then the girl will be like, "What might be?" I say, "But that's a fact. What I cannot be missing you the whole day. If I miss you the whole day, I cannot be functioning." Then they they know that it's logical, it's true, but yet they're like, "Then I say, I know you like to hear you guys, you girls like to hear. Oh, I miss you the whole day, every day. You like to hear that, right? I'll go and look for other guys. Other guys will tell you that. Yeah, you like to hear lies, right? Then go go and look for other guys." <laughs> See, relationships, amorous relationships are built on unfairness and lies. And yet, when your partner one day like so called lie to you, have been lying to you. You wanted all the lies, except that some lies you like, some lies you don't like. Then you don't like, then you get angry. <clears throat> What to do? Ah yeah. Sing Hui, eh? Who is Sing Hui? Oh, Sing Hui. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, can you please advise how can we handle the situation where trust is breached? Example: children lying. <clears throat> mm. So, what about children? 
Yeah, what about children? This is a good question. How about children? We don't want our children to lie, right? Yeah. But we must remember just what I just said. Is our relationship with our husband or wife built on lies? You know, because these are very subtle cues that they they pick up, you know, that they pick up. But more importantly, having said that, we do not want to advocate lying, right? We don't want our kids to start lying. Yeah. But, but why? I can tell you, uh, it's not simply because lying is wrong. Yeah. I Of course, I agree lying is wrong. But when parents don't want kids to lie, it's not just about that lying is wrong. That lying is, is, uh, is harmful. It is that we want control over our children. But not with bad intention. We want our children to tell us the truth so that we can manage their life, so that we can make sure that this precious child of mine don't suffer. <laughs> so there's some kind of intention, and then there's the I involved, and then the I want to control. Other kids lie to you, who cares? <laughs> Right. So that's why when we talk to other kids, it's so fun. Because they talk nonsense, we talk nonsense with them. <laughs> they say, yeah. Hello, what is your name? Superman. Wow, you're Superman. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We ask them, how old are you? 30 years old. Wow, you're so old already. Ah. But our kid, people ask, how old are you? Quick, tell, tell. Uncle called asks you, how, how, how are you? How are you? Faster! How oh, you don't know? <laughs> because why? It's a projection of us. Why, why, why my son is so stupid? I cannot answer one. <laughs> so, so it's not just about lying or not being able to reply. No. It's because it's our. If it's other kids, never mind. La. You know, small kids sometimes scared. Our own kid. Why? 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 <laughs> Other days, no, I'll say, huh? Whole day tell us how you are. Uncle asked, cannot say. <laughs> but there's another part of lying which recently um, it occurred to me that when kids lie, uh, it's not always a bad thing. Let me let me explain. Uh. First, I still say lying is not a right, the right thing to do. Okay? But we must also understand why kids lie. And what, when do kids not lie? When kids, let's look at when kids do not lie, then the, the lying part becomes apparent. There are many reasons why kids don't lie. One, they never get cane before, so they don't lie. <laughs> yeah, so, so <laughs> the first time they, they are honest and they get cane, after that, they learn to lie. <laughs> yeah. There, but there are some kids who still don't lie because even though they get killed, they, they, they somehow value saying the truth because they don't feel good telling lies to their parents. So that's another reason why they don't lie. So then, then it becomes apparent why kids lie. Kids lie because uh, they are afraid of the punishment. But sometimes it's because they're afraid of hurting their parents. They're afraid that their parents will be angry with them, with them for doing stupid things. Because they value what their parents think of them. You understand what I mean? So, which means that there are some cases where the kids don't care about what the parents think. So you ask them, did you do that? Did you do homework? No. What did you do? Remember? I didn't just didn't do that. Some kids are like that, right? La <laughs> Like gangster like that. Huh? I, I'm like that, Lord, then what you want to do? Yeah. So such a kid also don't lie, right? Are you okay with that? Not okay also, right? Uh, <laughs> so of course we are not trying to encourage our kids to lie. But we must also understand that when kids lie, it also means that one. If they are afraid of the punishment, then they lie. It means that they can still be taught <laughs> because they are fearful of punishment. <laughs> they are fearful of bad outcomes. So 
at least they have some some fear. <laughs> kids have no fear. How, how to teach? If a person have no fear for anything, like no, that's the law. Kill me, lah. I don't do homework. You kill me, lah. <laughs> then then jia lah. Cannot have. Cannot let kids have this idea that they 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 don't they are not afraid of anything. And that's why caning is not meant to hurt them. Is to give them a bit of. Um, it's it's just like scary movies, you know. You know Chinese and Asian Asian not just Chinese Asian ghost movie last time. Yeah, last time I don't know about now, ah, but Asian ghost movies last time. You don't see the ghost one, no. You oh, until the end of the show. Sometimes you never ever see the ghost one. You just hear the ghost. You just see the effects of the ghost, but you never ever see the ghost. So your 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 mind go crazy. <laughs> but you look at Western movies. We did the first one. Made, ah. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all there is. That's all there is. Nothing left. So the next episode, they must create a more a bigger ghost. That's why at some point you have Ghostbuster, giant marshmallow man. Not not scary anymore. Once you have a giant marshmallow man, not scary anymore. So caning discipline must be instilled in the Chinese ghost story way, not in the Amor way. Amor way, wait, wait, wait. Okay, then when when they realize that that's all you can inflict on me, ah, that's all you will be willing to inflict on me, ah. Okay, lor, done deal, lor. <laughs> Next time I can just do what I want with you. Ah. So when kids lie. There can be a reason that they are afraid of the punishment, which means that they can still be taught. You know, but you must not cross that barrier of pain, where is they they know that they can withstand it already. <laughs> then then, jala. Second is, they are still afraid of what you think of them. That's why they lie. Yeah. So there's a silver lining to the part where they lie. Yeah, it means that they still respect you. It's just like how when parking warden come, then they say, "Hey, parking warden is here!" Everybody run for the car because they still respect the law, you know. But you have we have heard of so called rich people. The hey parking warden, then ah yeah, go up go hog sangi. There's no res. There's no other res. Absolutely no respect for the law. That's really bad. The person never lie, what? Yeah, maybe the the car is right in front of him, no, or her. Yeah, the warden come. Is this your car? Maybe sometimes warden they actually come in order to give you ticket, no, but it's their job. Then they still look around. They purposely look here, look there. Can I can I give you chance, no? But you sit out there. Then if the person asks, is it your car? The person still say, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Absolutely no respect for the. Law, then such a person can do will do anything because he knows that he can get away with it, or is not afraid of the consequences. Yeah. So, a few things. One, when we talk about trust, uh, what's the purpose? Part of it we have to admit it is about us wanting to be in control, right? But we have, we cannot deny that. It is so that we can help manage their life because for their well-being, yeah. The other part is when they lie, don't always look at it. Don't incriminate it like as though it's a death sentence. Oh, uh, in fact, sometimes communicate with them to let them know that mama know that you lie because you're afraid that mama get angry with you. Yeah, you do you don't like mama to be angry with you, right? Ah, uh, then they they may sometimes like. Yeah, when my mom angry, I sad, sad. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm very frightened. I see my mom's face, oh, so fierce. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If you can get a kid to cry, of course, some kids, three year old, in Yuan Xinyan Ban, actors guilt already. Ah, uh, <laughs> and Grammy award, a <laughs> small kid. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen kids cry before? Ah, uh, there are different kind of crying. There's a kind of crying where they cry. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's another kind of crying. Ah, uh, they use that vocal cord to cry. Ah, uh, that is the fake crying. Today, eh, today is the 
Oh, they are not here. But not Sui Zhu's kid. Uh. Sui Zhu and Huang Ke, before they got married, there was one day they came to visit me in the Buddhist library many years back. They brought their nephew. Then when we sit down, somehow that nephew, kids sometimes are uh, something, the viral shot, shots the kid, then they just do stupid things. Decided not to sit with us. <clears throat> Other days, wow, see Sui Fu play. Then, then they suddenly don't know why they want to sit with us. Then sit far, far away from us. Then when we sit down, then uh, Sui Zhu wanted to go and Sui Zhu and Wang Ke, one of them said, ah, uh, I, I, I go and attend to him because he started crying. I said, no, 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 sit down, sit down. Then after a while, still cry. Then they still want to burn. I said, no, no. I give him five minutes. You, I assure you, he will not cry beyond five minutes. Yeah. If the moment he cry, you go and, oh, oh, oh. Then he know that there's the remote control. Yeah, to get you to come. <laughs> Because this is not a baby already. Baby cry, you must go. Baby means meaning that it cannot move. Yeah. So when they cannot move, they cry, something went wrong. <laughs> that is the that is the blue screen. Yeah, like computer blue screen, you know, Windows bang, blue screen. Uh, baby cry to express the blue screen. Something went wrong. I do they do not they cannot fix, they cannot recover. <laughs> Maybe the hand back. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. Worse is if the baby cannot cry out, uh, then within one, two minutes die. <laughs> but once become once they become toddler, not all cries need to be attended immediately. So you know what happened? They keep on looking over. Let's just chit chat. <laughs> you know what happened after a while? Initially, yeah, yeah. then you, you see, then we say, don't 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 turn around, don't turn around. You, you just look. Then the, the kid. <laughs> so the lying starts there, you know. <laughs> but if you keep on, then the, the, the kids, some kids naturally know how to lie, but some kids didn't know that. But then you teach them how to lie. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so, um, but in the the question, I, 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 I cover more the before you want to handle it, we need to understand all these circumstances. Then as to how to handle um, addressing all the different reasons why they lie, uh, that will be how you sh it should handle. Yeah. The important thing is don't make every Offense a capital punishment. 事情有对错还有轻重. Yeah. Things that are right and wrong, but there is also severity. Yeah. If everything is handled as severity A, first degree murder, capital punishment, 天下大乱. <laughs> There'll be chaos, there'll be anarchy. Think about it. A person killed another person, death sentence. A person forgot to return library book, also death sentence. <laughs> Librarians will all be dead. <laughs> the people will just ransack the library. <laughs> you never put coupon, death sentence. Nobody there to work as parking warden. <laughs> Makes sense or not? But sometimes as parents, we, we have only two sentences. Either give you a warning or death sentence. <laughs> not, it's not, not, not much better, <laughs> but I see this in many family. I told you how many times? I told you how many times? Just warning, ma. Next thing you know, come, come, come. <laughs> so it's either I give you warning or death sentence. <laughs> So the kid is very confused. Like, wait, how, how many warnings do I get before I die? <laughs> That's the reason why societies manage to develop. That's the reason why Singapore becomes Singapore. It's because Lee Kuan Yew never gives that sentence to everything. 
we can complain. I mean, people can complain all they want. Well, some people are very authoritarian. Lee Kuan Yew, dictator. No, I don't think he's a dictator. <laughs> Dictators really execute people happily they want. That's why when the people have the ability, they revoke. Yeah. Normally, they don't revoke. It's because they don't have the ability. <laughs> Once they have ability, they revolt. Likewise, for kids, you rule them like a dictator. <laughs> the moment they grow up and they have, of course, most of the time, parents grow up this kind of relationship, parental style also. Yeah, but if this leaves a scar, then the kid, when they grow up, they don't care about the parents. Because they, you never show them the kind of, <laughs> that you don't show them that you are reasonable. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So whether it's this case or any other case with our children, you want to show them that you are being reasonable. <clears throat> yeah, Reasonable doesn't mean that you have to reason with them uh, because at a certain age, you cannot reason with them because they don't know reason. As I always say, 讲道理没有错,但是道理是两个懂道理的人讲的. Yeah. It's okay to be reasonable, to reason. Okay? It's one thing to be reasonable, it's another thing to reason. Reason means to explain your reason. Being reasonable means you follow certain fixed sets of principle, rules, and so on. Yeah. <clears throat> Not just by your emotions. With kids at a certain age, you cannot reason with them because they don't understand reason. They don't even know, not to mention understand. Yeah. This is the formative age where they, you, you teach them reason by <laughs> uh, like that cannot then later explain the reason <clears throat> okay oh yeah otherwise amongst the near <laughs> and this applies to boyfriend girlfriend husband wife relationship also must be reasonable yeah okay have a reasonable day ahead. Uh, if I may just add one last thing about the how to deal with the kids. Um, I, in case you all don't get it, uh, is that <clears throat> to give them good reasons not to lie. Yeah. Uh, to let them feel safe not to lie. Then they will slowly move towards that direction. And that is related to the don't just capital punishment everything. <laughs> the capital punishment everything, they will just lie into that. Okay, stay safe, take care. I'll see you again. Bye bye.